Welcome to Stories of Success about Adele. Today we will talk about English singer-songwriter's career. Adele Laurie Blue Adkins is an English singer and songwriter. She is one of the world's best-selling music artists, with sales of over 120 million records. After graduating in arts from the Brit School in 2006, Adele signed a record deal with XL Recordings. Her debut album, 19, was released in 2008 and spawned the UK top five singles, Chasing Pavements, and Make You Feel My Love. The album was certified eight times platinum in the UK and triple platinum in the US. Adele was honored with the Brit Award for Rising Star as well as the Grammy Award for Best New Artist. Adele released her second studio album, 21, in 2011. It became the world's best-selling album of the 21st century, with sales of over 31 million copies. It was certified 17 times platinum in the UK and diamond in the US. According to Billboard, 21 is the top performing album in the US chart history, topping the Billboard 200 for 24 weeks. In 2012, Adele released Skyfall, a soundtrack single for the James Bond film of the same name, which won the Academy Award and the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song. Her third studio album, 25, was released in 2015 and became the year's best-selling album and broke first-week sales records in the UK and US. 25 was her second album to be certified Diamond in the US and earned her five Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year, and four Brit Awards. Her fourth studio album 30, which contains the chart-topping single Easy On Me, was released to international success in 2021. Then with what mine are and what the, what the fans are, I reckon. So I reckon someone like you would be number one. I think there's a new song on um, the new album that would be my number second, or be my second one. And then When We Were Young. Right. I really love that song. I love singing it. It means a lot to me. Great selections. And can you do the same for Beyonce's top albums? You know, that could be controversial. Uh, the Hive Might Come and Kill Me. I'm, okay, my personal favorites. <laughs> my first one is Sasha Fierce. That Sublime double album. The second one would be Lemonade. Adele's accolades include 15 Grammy Awards and 9 Brit Awards. In 2011, 2012, and 2016, Billboard named her Artist of the Year. At the 2012 and 2016 Ivor Novello Awards, Adele was named Songwriter of the Year by the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers, and Authors. In 2012, she was listed at number 5 on VH1's 100 Greatest Women in Music. Time magazine named her one of the most influential people in the world in 2012 and 2016. Her third tour saw her break attendance records globally, including in the UK, Australia, and the US, and her album 21 has been listed in Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time. Adele was signed to XL Recordings in September 2006. Her debut album, 19, was released in January 2008. Adele was named the number one predicted breakthrough act of 2008 in an annual BBC poll of music critics, Sound of 2008. The album 19, named for her age at the time she wrote and composed many of its songs, entered the British charts at number one. She won an Urban Music Award for Best Jazz Act, and a Music of Black Origin nomination in the category of Best UK Female. In June 2007, Adele made her television debut, performing Daydreamer on the BBC's Later, with Jules Holland. Adele was booked as the musical guest on the 18th of October 2008 episode of NBC's Saturday Night Live. The episode earned the program its best ratings in 14 years with 17 million viewers. Adele performed Chasing Pavements and Cold Shoulder, and the following day, 19 topped the iTunes charts and ranked at number 5 at Amazon.com. The album reached number 11 on the Billboard 200 as a result, a jump of 35 places over the previous week. She referred to this period as her early life crisis, 
She is also known for her dislike of flying and bouts of homesickness when away from her native London. The album was certified gold in early 2009 by the RIAA. By July 2009, the album had sold 2.2 million copies worldwide. In 2010, Adele received a Grammy nomination for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance for Hometown Glory. In April her song, My Same, entered the German singles chart after it had been performed by Lena Meyer Landrit in the talent show contest Unser Star für Oslo, or Our Star for Oslo, in which the German entry to the Eurovision Song Contest 2010 was determined. Adele's version of Bob Dylan's, Make You Feel My Love, re-entered the UK singles chart at number 4. 2011 to 2014, 21, worldwide recognition and hiatus. Adele released her second studio album, 21, on the 24th of January 2011 in the UK and the 22nd of February in the US. She said the album was inspired by the breakup with her former partner, the album's sound is described as classic and contemporary country and roots music. In October 2011, Adele was forced to cancel two tours because of a vocal cord hemorrhage. In the first week of November 2011 Stephen M. Zeitels, director of the Center for Laryngeal Surgery and Voice Rehabilitation at the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, performed laser microsurgery on Adele's vocal cords to remove a benign polyp. The song, Skyfall, written and composed in collaboration with producer Paul Epworth, was recorded at Abbey Road Studios, and features orchestrations by J.A. Redford. Adele confirmed that her third album would likely be at least two years away, stating, I have to take time and live a little bit. There were a good two years between my first and second albums, so it'll be the same this time, she stated that she would continue writing and composing her own material. In October, the album's sales surpassed 4.5 million in the UK, and in November it surpassed 10 million sales in the US. But then with what mine are and what the, what the fans are, I reckon. So I reckon someone like you would be number one. I think there's a new song on um, the new album that would be my number second, or be my second one. And then When We Were Young. Right. I really love that song. I love singing it. It means a lot to me. Great selections. And can you do the same for Beyonce's top albums? You know, that could be controversial. Uh, the Hive Might Come and Kill Me. I'm okay, My personal favourites... <laughs> my first one is Sasha Fierce. That sublime double album. The second one would be Lemonade. At the 2013 Grammy Awards, she confirmed that she was in the very early stages of her third album. She also stated that she will most likely work with Paul Epworth again. In September 2013, Wiz Khalifa confirmed that he and Adele had collaborated on a song for his fifth studio album, Black Hollywood, though the collaboration did not make the final track listing. In January 2014, Adele received her 10th Grammy Award with Skyfall, winning Best Song Written for Visual Media at the 56th Annual Grammy Awards. In May 2014, Adele posted a cryptic message via her Twitter account which prompted media discussion about her next album. In early August, Paul Moss suggested that an album would be released in 2014 or 2015. On the 27th of August 2015, Billboard reported that Adele's label, XL Recordings, had intentions of releasing her third studio album sometime in November 2015. Danger Mouse was revealed to have contributed a song, while Tobias Gesso Jr. had written a track, and Ryan Tedder was back in the mix after producing and co-writing, rumor has it, on 21, at the 72nd. In November 2015, Adele's 2016 tour was announced, her first tour since 2011. Her North American tour began on 5 July in Street, Paul, Minnesota. The leg included six nights at Madison Square Garden in New York City, eight nights at Staples Center in Los Angeles, and four nights at Air Canada Center in Toronto. Adele broke Taylor Swift's five-show record for most consecutive sold-out shows at the Staples Center. At the 36th Brit Awards in London on 24 February, 
She received the awards for British Female Solo Artist, British Album of the Year for 25, British Single of the Year for Hello, and British Global Success. As part of her world tour, in February and March 2017, Adele performed in Australia for the first time, playing outdoor stadiums around the country. Her first two shows in New Zealand sold out in a record-breaking 23 minutes, and a third show was announced, with all tickets sold in under 30 minutes. Adele sold over 600,000 tickets for her record-breaking eight-date Australian tour, setting stadium records throughout the country. Her Sydney show at ANZ Stadium on 10 March was seen by 95,000 people, the biggest single concert in Australian history, a record she broke the following night with more than 100,000 fans. Adele completed her world tour with two concerts, dubbed the Finale at Wembley Stadium, London on 28 and 29 June. She announced the shows by singing the England football team's Three Lions anthem and also the theme song to the BBC's weekly Premier League football show Match of the Day. Adele had added another two concerts at Wembley after the first two dates sold out, however she cancelled the last two dates of the tour after damaging her vocal cords. As a show of support, fans instead gathered outside Wembley Stadium to perform renditions of her songs, in an event titled, Sing for Adele. Adele was reportedly working on her fourth studio album by 2018. On the 5th of May 2019, Adele posted several black and white pictures of herself on her Instagram account celebrating her 31st birthday. Media outlets took the post as an indication that a new album was on the way. On the 1st of October 2021, projections and billboards of the number 30 appeared on significant landmarks and buildings in different cities around the world, fueling speculation that 30 would be the title of her fourth album. Adele's website and social media accounts matched the aesthetic of the billboards, hinting that her new album would be titled 30, which was subsequently confirmed. This was a story of success about Adele's career. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and join us for more.